Hey guys, it's BabyCuddle here, and right before I get into this video, I want to talk to you guys about Filmora Screen, which is a new product by Wondershare, and this is basically a screen recorder that you can use for your computer. Now, the great thing about this for you is if you use BlueStacks or any other emulators to play Clash of Clans and you want to record your screen, you can now use Filmora Screen and record your PC screen and all your gameplay. So this is super simple to use, I'm going to show you guys how to download it. So first you're going to want to go down into the description, click the first link there and it'll bring you to this page. Then click free download, right now it's only available for Windows but for Mac it will be coming very soon. So once it's done downloading, you're going to want to install Filmora Screen on your computer and it's pretty simple and pretty fast. And once that's done, Filmora Screen is going to open automatically and it's pretty simple to use from here. You just click get started, you can select a frame rate, you can select many other things with the audio and all that. And once you're ready, you can click capture to start capturing your screen. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this short message from Filmora. Let's get right into the video. Hey guys, it's Baby Kingler here from Pashi's Buy, and welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video where today we're going to be talking about 7 reasons why Clash of Clans is better than Clash Royale. So basically, a lot of us play Clash of Clans who are watching this video, right? Some of us also play Clash Royale, but some of us don't play Clash Royale, and I'm going to be telling you guys why, if you play Clash of Clans, it is better than playing Clash Royale, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get right into the seven reasons. But right before I do, as always, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not already for the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, announcements, and strategy. And once you subscribe, comment down below saying that you subscribed, and I will probably reply to you. And who knows, I might even subscribe to you, comment on your videos, do all that amazing stuff. So if you want that to happen to you, just go ahead and make sure to do those things. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video, starting with reason number one. In Clash of Clans, you build a base, and this base is something that you can actually be proud of. You can log in every day and look at your base, look at your village, and see how far you've progressed. Now, in Clash Royale, you can't really do that. You log in, and all you see is how high you are in trophies and what cards you unlock. That's not as rewarding, that's not as satisfying as looking at your base that you've been building up for three years, or you know, you're a Town Hall 9, you look at everything that you've farmed up, it's so great, and it's something that you can be proud of, something that you can show to other people, and it's something that you can look at to remind yourself of how long you've been playing the game. Clash Royale is different, I mean, it's just cards and stuff like that, that's not really the same thing. Alright, let's move on to reason number two. In Clash of Clans, there's many ways to play, but in Clash Royale, all you can do is push. Like, I know in Clash Royale, there's different game modes, there's challenges, you know, there's 2v2, all this other stuff, but the whole point of Clash Royale is just to climb trophies. That's the whole point. Like, no matter what you're doing, it's all for climbing trophies. If you're doing grand challenges, it's for upgrading your cards so that you can push trophies higher. You know, you buy cards to push trophies higher. Do all that stuff to push. Now, in Clash of Clans, there's also pushing, but you can do so many other things in Clash of Clans, there's many many other game modes, you can do wars, and that's nothing to do with pushing, you don't have to be high in trophies to be good at war, you can be low in trophies and still good at war, war and pushing are nothing alike in Clash of Clans, and also there's a builder base which is something completely different, I mean of course the whole goal of the builder base is to push, but there's also other things that you can do that can connect with your main village like gearing up defenses and stuff like that, you can farm at low trophies, and overall there's just so much play diversity in Clash of Clans compared to Clash Royale where everything is just pushing, you know, doing battles to increase your trophy count while in Clash of Clans there's farming and all this other great stuff, Clash Royale there's definitely no farming at all, even if you drop lower in trophies you're not doing yourself any good at all even if you're winning battles you're not going to get better chests or anything so yeah that's going to be reason number two all right reason number three in clash of clans you get to choose who you attack so you know when you're searching for battles you can choose who you attack you can click the next button and select which base in war you can select which base you want to attack there's like many different bases in the builder base that's the only exception however in clash rail no matter what you do you can't select who you attack so you press battle and the game matches you up with whoever else is in your trophy range some random person and the disadvantage of this is that clash rail almost always matches you up with high Higher level. So if you're a level 8, I always get matched up with level 10s, you know? And if I'm a level 10, I always get matched up with level 11s, level 12s, and just really frustrating because it's not even. They already have an advantage. You can't choose who you attack, but in Clash of Clans, if you press search, 
and you, you know, find a tunnel 10 and you're only a tunnel 9. You can click next and you can choose who you want to attack. So then you can keep clicking next until you find a base that's suitable for you, that's even for you, that you can actually attack. Clash Royale, there's none of that. It's just very frustrating. That's why a lot of players are reporting that Clash Royale is just so much more frustrating because you're getting matched up with these higher level players who are using these OP high level cards that you just cannot even defend against. Okay, number four. In Clash Royale, there's a lot of luck involved, but in Clash of Clans, there's barely any luck involved. So in Clash Royale, when you're opening chests and stuff, it's all about luck. You know, will I get a legendary? You have no idea. Besides the legendary chest, there's no guarantee that you're gonna legendary in any of your super magical chests, magical chests, or anything like that. And even if you do get a legendary, you don't get to choose what legendary you get to give you whatever. So it's all about luck. You know, you open chests, uh, you just have to get lucky and get a good card in it. However, in Clash of Clans, it's more predictable. You know what you're getting out of it. When you upgrade a defense, you know what you're getting out of it. When you buy something from the shop, you know what you're getting out of it. It's not like you go into the shop, you want to buy a cannon, and then instead it pulls out an archer tower. It's not like that. Clash of Clans is a lot more predictable, and that's why you know people don't rage when they get like nothing good in their super magical chest. Uh, there's nothing like that in Clash of Clans, which is a very good thing. Alright, number 5. In Clash of Clans, there are no emos, and this is a huge thing that I think Supercell is doing a very good job of doing. They do not have emotes in Clash of Clans, so even in the builder base, you can't send like any emotes. And if you guys don't know what these are, basically, they're like laughing faces, you know, smiley faces, uh, just saying little words like thanks, uh, good job, you know, stuff like that. In Clash Royale, you can send these types of emotes to your opponent in the battle. However, in Clash of Clans, they don't have that. And I think this is so good because sometimes people can troll with emotes. Even if they win a battle, they just cry at you on purpose using the emotes feature. And uh, there's this whole thing called BMs where you're just like purposely trolling the guy with a bunch of emotes. And it's just really annoying in Clash Royale when I play. So I try to like mute players when I do battles in Clash Royale. But in Clash of Clans, luckily, Supercell makes it so that everyone has to be a good sport. I mean, sometimes emotes are used well, but sometimes they're not used well. And I'm glad that Supercell is taking this stance of not adding emotes in Clash of Clans. Alright, number 6. Clash Royale copied Clash of Clans, so that's why Clash of Clans is inherently better than Clash Royale. I mean, if you have a game that copied another game, well, <laughs> that game that was copied is obviously better, right? Clash Royale copied a bunch of Clash of Clans characters, just to name a few. Barbarian, Archer, Giant, Goblin, Wallbreaker is basically the Bomber, Balloon, Wizard. I could keep going on and on. They also copied defenses and all this other stuff. So if anything is better, it's Clash of Clans because, I mean, Clash of Clans existed first. Clash Royale copied the characters from Clash of Clans. Alright, let's move on to the very last reason of this video. Clash of Clans is not as pay to win as Clash Royale. Clash Royale, you got legendaries, you got all this other stuff that takes so much more money and all that to actually be able to achieve. I mean, getting a level 5 legendary in Clash Royale, which is the max level for legendaries, that's pretty much impossible unless you buy a lot of gems, you know? And even then, you, there's no guarantee, like I said earlier, if you open chests, there's no guarantee that you'll get that specific legendary. You're gonna have to spend a lot of money to max out a level 5 legendary in Clash Royale. However, in Clash of Clans, it's a lot more predictable, so it's not as pay to win. It's much more easy to progress in Clash of Clans. Like, you can upgrade your base slowly, you can slowly farm your base up. In Clash Royale, it's not really the same thing. If you want to max out your base, it's pretty much impossible without gems. But in Clash of Clans, I know a lot of people who have maxed out their base without using a single gem. And uh, that's great about Clash of Clans, you don't have to pay as much money. So yeah, that's going to basically be it for this video. I ho do hope you guys enjoyed it. Those were 7 reasons why Clash of Clans is better than Clash Royale. And as always, make sure to go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more Clash of Clans content. You'll never miss a single thing about Clash of Clans, whether it's news, updates, announcements, or strategy. If you subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.